Hi, I'm John the Engineer Turmel, and tonight I'm going to participate in the saddleback debate between Barack Obama and John McCain, their first debate. There's a chance there's going to be a North American Union, and if ever there were, I'd be running for president or prime minister of that union. So I may as well take this opportunity to explain what I could do for not only Canada, but the United States and the world as well. So I'm going to be throwing in my answers and one-liners to these uh, arguments made by the other candidates. And I hope you appreciate the errors they're making and the ways they could be fixed. Another issue, the third largest and the fastest growing criminal industry in the world is human trafficking, $32 billion a year. A lot of people don't know that there are about 27 million people living in slavery right now, M many of them in sex trafficking, but in the others. Well, slavery is an issue dear to my heart. When I founded my political party in Canada in 1993, with the proceeds, the million dollars from my underground gambling casino, I picked the name abolitionist because I believed we were here to finish the job. The other older abolitionists got rid of the metal chains that you can see. We're here to get rid of the debt chains that you can't see. And an interest-free credit card would permit every single one of those slaves, just like it would permit every single one of those orphans, to escape that fate and those chains of poverty rather than metal in this day and age. How do we speak out, and how do you, how do you plan to do something about that? Well, I think th this has to be a top priority. And, and I, this is an area where we've already seen bipartisan agreement on this issue. Mm -hmm. uh, what we have to do is to create better, more effective tools for prosecuting mm -hmm. uh, those who are engaging in human trafficking. <laughs> prosecuting the slavers is dealing with the symptom. Given the slaves' means of escape, that's dealing with the cause. Uh, and we have to do that within our country. Sadly, there are thousands who are uh, trapped in uh, various forms of uh, enslavement here in our country. Yes, sadly. And all it takes is a piece of plastic and the credit of the nation for everyone to escape. Uh, oftentimes, uh, young women who are, are caught up in prostitution. Uh, so we've got to give prosecutors the tools to crack down on these uh, human trafficking networks. Mm -hmm. Internationally, we've got to speak out, and we've got to forge alliances with other countries to share intelligence, to roll up the financing networks that are involved in them. Well, when you're not dealing with the cause, the symptoms can really outnumber you. Uh, it is a debasement of our common humanity whenever we see something like that taking place. Okay, in a minute, in one minute, because I know you could take the entire hour in this, tell me in a minute why you want to be president. Uh, Yo, know, I, I, I remember what my mother used to tell me. I, I, I was talking to somebody a while back, and I said, uh, the one time that she'd get really angry with me is if she ever thought that uh, I was being mean to somebody or unfair to somebody. She said, imagine standing in their shoes. Uh, imagine looking through their eyes. That basic idea of empathy. And, and, and that, I think, is what ma what, what's made America special is that notion that everybody's got a shot. If we see somebody down and out, if we see a kid who's, uh, who can't afford college, that, that we care for them, too. Yeah, but caring for them doesn't help them, does it? And I want to be president because that's the America I believe in, and I feel like that... American dream is slipping away. I think we are at a critical juncture economically. I think we are at a critical jun a juncture internationally. We've got to make some big decisions, not just for us, but for the next generation. And we keep on putting it off. And unfortunately, our politics uh, is so broken and Washington is so broken that we can't seem to bring together people of goodwill to solve these common problems. You don't need people of goodwill to fix the system. You need blueprints of good engineering. All you have to do is Google for banking systems engineer and go read my bank math analysis 
and you'll understand how running money like poker chips without any interest, if you got collateral, the cage has got chips, means there's no inflation of the chips, and you can run an economy on an interest-free basis with the house taking a rake off or a service charge to pay itself, but no more damned usury. I think I have the ability to build bridges across partisan lines, racial, regional lines, to get people to work on some common sense solutions to critical issues. and. and uh, I hope that I have the opportunity to do that. Well, I hope you have the opportunity to take a few lessons in banking since it was engineering to see what you can really do to fix the system for us all. I want to inspire a generation of Americans to serve a cause greater than their self-interest. I believe that America's best days are ahead of us. But I also believe that we face enormous challenges both national security and domestic, as we have found out in the last few days in the case of Georgia. Wow, talk about fixation, Georgia on his mind. And I wanna be, make sure that everybody understands that this is a time for us to come together. Throughout my life, from the time I was 17 and raised my hand and was sworn in as a midshipman at the United States Naval Academy, I've always put my country first. I put my country first when I was ser had the honor of serving in the military, and I had the honor of serving my, putting my country first as a member of the House of Representatives and then the United States Senate. Yeah, I guess most other people put their country second or third. What does that mean, putting your country first? America wants hope. America wants optimism. America wants us to sit down together. I have a record of reaching across the aisle and working with the other party. And I want to do that. And I believe, as I said, that Americans feel it's time for us to put our country first. And we may disagree on a specific issue. And I won't reveal them now. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I want every American to know that when I go to G's Bend, Alabama, and meet the African-American women there who are so wonderful and lovely and an experience I'll never forget, and when I go uh, to places where I know they probably won't vote for me, I know that my job is to tell them that I'll be the president of every American and I'll always put my country first. What a load of hot air that say absolutely nothing. So why would I want to be president of America or the American Union? Well, that is to give each and every one of us an interest-free credit account at the United States Treasury so that no one ever has to go deal with the loan shark banks again. And that way, based on the time standard of money, not just the stuff standard and the gold standard of money, but the time standard of money, everybody can open up an account at the U.S. Treasury computer like PayPal. They can then cut checks to pay off all their debts, interest-bearing debts. And after that number has been stabilized, one number with the big sugar daddy bank you owe, after that all payments go against principal. And even the poorest, weakest guy someday gets that debt paid off. It's only the damned usury that keeps people in debt forever. So, I'm John the Engineer Termel. I want to reprogram the Bank of Canada's computer with the Let's Time Bank interest-free currency software. And I don't need to get elected to get that done. Back in 1996, I was running in a by-election in Hamilton against Sheila Copps, and I said, I don't need to get elected. I just need one person to go to the website, pick up the Time Bank software, and do it yourselves. Well, there was a big headline in the newspaper, Super Loser Fails Again. But exactly one month later, big article in the Hamilton Spectator saying, Hamilton Self-Help Group starts up Hamilton Let's. Mission accomplished. Well... If I can convince Mr. Obama to reprogram, if he wins, probably, the bank's computers to let the U.S. Treasury run accounts for the people as well as for the other banks, that'll be my mission accomplished. I'm John the Engineer Termel, bank fighter extraordinaire, trying to make inroads in the American election. Thank you very much.